The final Medicare and Medicaid bill passed both houses of Congress by an overwhelming vote. The new bill expands the 30-year-old Social Security program to provide hospital care, nursing home care, home nursing service, and outpatient treatment for those over 65. Medicare will become law on July 1st, 1966. My name is Patty Rutherford, and I live in Safety Harbor, Florida. I live in Gus Bilarakis' Congressional District, and Mr. Bilarakis just recently voted yes on Paul Ryan's budget that will totally dismantle and destroy Medicare as we know it today. My name is Paul Seligson. I'm retired from the hotel hospitality field. I always thought Medicare would be there for me when I retired, but now I understand that my congressman, Patrick Meehan, from the 7th District in Pennsylvania, has voted to strike down Medicare. My name is Lori, and I've recently turned 50. I've spent the last 30 years paying into Medicare, and I thought it would be there for me when I needed it. But Congressman Klein voted for the Ryan budget, a budget which destroys the Medicare system that we know. My name is Greg. I'm 45 years old, and I live in Palm Springs, California. I've been working since I was 16 years old, and I've paid into Medicare ever since that time. Mary Bono Mack just recently voted to support the Paul Ryan budget plan, which ends Medicare as we know it. I'm counting on Medicare when I retire. I've paid into it, and I should receive the benefits that are due to me. This is not right. My name is Linda Mitchell. I was an accounting professor in Louisville before having to retire for medical reasons. I'm a long-term cancer survivor. If it weren't for Medicare, I don't think I would be alive today. I paid into Medicare for 28 years, but Congressman Young voted to end Medicare. And I'm Congressman Steve Israel. I've been paying into Medicare all my working life. I voted to protect Medicare, not end it. Join our fight at don'tendmedicare.com.